Hi everyone. This is another rock I wanted to show you that I painted. Uh, these are stones. Uh, I forget the name of them. I'll list it below though uh, if I can find it. But they're so pretty. They're beautiful stones. They're very smooth. And um, anyway, I painted this with uh, with my acrylic acrylic stone with acrylic paints. I'm sorry. What I did was I took this color, cobalt blue. It's the Fogart multi-service paint, and I mixed it with some of my, my licorice multi-surface. I mixed some of that together <clears throat> to make the very dark blue. First I drew the dove, and then I, I outlined it with my pencil, and then I went around and I put these two colors together, and I painted that to have the dark outline. And then with this light enamel hydrangea color, this light blue, I came around with my dotting tool and I used the smaller one. I think I used the larger one in some areas, you know, and the smaller one probably, yes I did, I used large and small. And I dotted, I dotted around that, you know, like that. And so, I let that dry so I wouldn't I wouldn't mess that up. And then uh, I used my multi-surface titanium white. I like this titanium white be better than wicker white. Wicker white has a, a watery way about it to me. I like the thicker titanium. It covers better. Uh, and this is also multi-surface. So. I painted, I painted my dove, and then I let that dry. I painted it again. I put a couple coats on it, and then I, um, then I outlined it with, with the titanium white. And then what I did was I made its eye with the metallic gold, the eye, and I put the leaves in with the. I, uh, the, the enamel, the thicket, the dark green, and then I put some forest moss or light green, whatever color green you'd like to use, and then I put a little white just to highlight a little bit. Then I had some glitter, I had some gold glitter, so I sprinkled that on it just to bring out a little bit of the highlight on it. You can see <clears throat> it came out pretty, and that's the the Dove of Peace, which is fitting now what we need. We need the Dove of Peace in our lives, don't we? Yeah. And this is, these are the brushes I use. Of course, you can use anything you like, whatever you can fit, you know, uh, in your painting. I painted the background, and you can use any size you like to paint, to paint on the rock. Just, you know, any size that would cover it. This is just a, um, you know, anything big enough to where it would cover the, the background, like that. And these are different sizes. I used angular brushes. I'll list these below just to give you an idea. So, you know, and then my dotting tool. I have different sizes, but, you know, just a just your dotting tool that you use. You can use two, uh oh, oh, you can use toothpicks or, you know, the end of a pen or pencil, anything that'll make your little dots. So, I'll, I'll list these below. I have flat brushes, round brushes, detail, uh, detail brushes. I have uh, liner brushes, <coughs> angular brush. They're all small though. I like small brushes. Mostly I use nail art, but this, the dove was bigger, so I really didn't need the nail art brushes. I needed a little bit bigger ones. So that's what I did. <clears throat> then after it dried, well, I did the background first and let it dry for a while, you know, maybe, oh, several hours. Then I came back, I painted the dove, and I let it dry couple hours I guess I outlined it and then I sprinkled my uh, glitter my gold glitter on it 
the next day what I did, like I said in a previous video of the rock I did, I take this and I put a paper towel on it, under, under it, on my hand, and I go out on my balcony. And I take this Rust-Oleum, and it's a gloss clear, and it's an ultra cover. And I spray this, I spray it good, you know, and then I take it inside. Well, before I take it inside, I put it in this, like, I got from, I don't know, Walmart or Hobby Lobby, but it's a plastic container, and it has a lid over it. I put it inside on parchment paper so it doesn't stick cover it, put the cover on it, and I let it sit overnight to the next day or so, and <clears throat> and it makes a nice gloss protective finish for it. And I'll usually give it a second coat, and, uh, and that's it. I use enamel paints. It's, you can use, just use the plain uh, acrylics. Gosh, they don't cost much at all. Enamels are more expensive, but I have so many because I paint on glass. But um, your your acrylic paints, gosh, they're so inexpensive. And and I do have some, and I'm I use them occasionally with my paints if they have the right colors. And I do mix paints, you know. Like I said, I use this cobalt with black to get this dark background color. I didn't have anything that dark, so I mix it. You can do the same and remember when you're painting you have you have dark you have dark and you have light that's you have shadows and you have highlights that's in all your paintings uh, remember that you'll always have that you have the dark dark colors and you have your light so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll show you some more paintings a little bit later uh, I have more rocks that I've done. I'll be painting on glass. And um, <clears throat> I appreciate you being here. You take care of yourselves and take care of others too. Okay, thanks again for being here. I'll see you again. Bye.